Hello everyone and what is going on? Hyperion Blue GT here. Welcome back to Gran Turismo 7 Part 62. As the road to the big one continues on after having a quick detour from France after clear from circuit experience in the Sandy Chloric Sea and 24 Heroes Dumont's racetrack is now going check and clear by having two Group 1 categories as part for today's circuit experience from yesterday. So moving on and go proceed at Belgium to be located in Stoplob for Circuit de Spa Frankenchamps will go for the full course layout by using the Porsche 911 RSR Type 991 2017. Looks to me because 4 sectors including a 1 lap attack is about to go challenging and I'm almost there to go forward to be at the Nürburgring after clear from having a full course to be on the Belgian racing circuit. So you see, the track itself was designed in 1920, designed by Jules de Tenner and Henry Lang Loris van Opem. Two of them just actually to be as architect designers to be used as the original 15 km track layout before over 100 years later. The track itself is now being redesigned and putting up to have a very good major events such as Formula 1 and World Endurance Championship along with some other race series. But it's still very iconic and very popular to be using with two different separate variation. The full course and the 24 hour layout. So let's get ready to go and a 15 second overlay to have a reminder. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment and click the bell for notification on upcoming content videos in the later future. So now it's time for me and get ready to go and move on forward will be resumed in circuit experience for the full walkthrough of my journey. I'm so ready up and good to go for only 4 sectors will have to get down by having 20 turns by each part of the landmark to be specific to be having a very good place to start. So here is sector 1 by having a goal objective in 30 seconds is now being take place to be starting out on turn number 1 is La Source before going proceed on to turn 2 as you may enter to have turn number 3 to turn number 5. The Redellian Iraq Rouge is about to go faster and reach on top of the hill. So after clear from the first sector. Moving on in sector 2 to be at turn number 6 at the Camel Strait before taking the last cone base in turn number 7 through turn number 9. After 7 through 9 by the corner, you'll be moving on in the Bruxelles in turn 10 before taking the left turn on turn 11 before coming forward to be in sector 3 by having a 37.2 seconds before currently to have a 46 seconds with a decimal of 0.9. Pohan is now currently to have a left turn to be entered on turn 12 before stopping at the campus to be at turn 13 and 14 as you may enter to go at stop up in turn 15 and 16 the end of the third sector before moving on in Kobe Paul Ferry and will have to start on to the fourth sector in 29.3 seconds. So only last four turns including a chicane as well to be stopped at turn 19 and 20. After 4 sector clear, you'll be moving on and take a prior to have a super license in about a 2 minute 21.4 seconds after having a 917k is now being listed to have a final exam. So here I go, gonna have to master the first sector and let's see how a group 3 race car will have to make a good prequel moment after we've been finishing from the super license in a 917k for the same Porsche. Gonna have to go for the hood cam and radar to be turned on. Gonna have to take that good position inside the apex. Turn one cleared. Now gonna have to go speed up onto turn two. But better be sure to go up the hill to be entered on turn number three through turn number five. Hey Rob Rouge, here it comes and stay steady up. Don't get off the track. So much closer to have that perfect gold medal, 30.14 seconds, ends up in the silver level. Gonna have to try this again for attempt number 2. So a little birdie have told me about the next update on GT7 is gonna be scheduled on March 30th, not the 29th. 
but March 30th is going to be as the official will be coming up soon. But I can't wait to have the five new cars, including two layouts, is about to be located and set to be at Nürburgring. The endurance and the sprint layout. Sound surprised and pretty excited to see how two layouts, just like Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya, to have a national circuit and the rally cross layout. So there it is, you guys. Gold record to be clear. Mastered to have five turns before going up the hill by 29.816 seconds. After stopping on sector two, proceed onto the camel straight to be at turn number six, will be served as a starting position for sector two. Field the master to be driving on Spa Frankenchance is the potential racing experience to be cho choosing with any kinds of racing cars as well. So let's go and proceed in sector 2, 37.2 seconds as we're about to go enter at the Camel Strait. Be sure to master less combis in turn number 7 through turn number 9. First attempt, let's do this and go for the braking position to be entered at the apex. Okay, there you go. Just like that. And just gonna have to stop at turn number 9 before going down on turn 10. Pretty good to have an upper hand advantage to be using throughout the competition in Nations Cup and Manufacturers Cup. Turn 10 clear. Now going forward to be at turn 11. This is gonna get a little bit tricky. Don't get slowed down when you're at turn 11. Close call, but almost to be ending up in silver. My record is going gold in 37.173 seconds. Note to self folks, master turn 11 after clear from the Bruxelles is a pretty obviously to have a nice blind corner turn. So that makes two sectors clear, only two more to go, and one lap attack will be saved for later. Now, for sector 3, after taking clear on turn 11, you'll be moving on and take turn 12 at the Puhan before going at the campus to be stopping at turn 13 and 14 to be on the right direction and left turn to be currently to be at stop lob before stopping at turn 15 and then make your last push to be on turn 16 will be marked and checked to be on the finish line. So let's go down and do some sloping technique demonstration to go for the example with a group three car. Let's make the first attempt. Here comes the 12th turn. Keep it steady and don't get too much pressure to be well distracted. One ghost car is now have the upper hand. But unless, here's turn 13 followed by the campus and then stop at turn 14 to stay on the main push of the throttle. But after that, turn 15 and 16 will be served as a landmark to be entered in the third sector, only in the circuit experience before moving on in sector 4 of the challenge. Gonna have to sprint to the finish, time's ticking. Okay, there you go, looks like Almost ending up in silver, just like sector 1, 46.793 seconds in the goal. That should be very good. Now I'm gonna have to skip a replay to save it as well. It's so quite very obvious to have a near depth experience to have a faster times and go for having a faster rush when choosing any group 3 car when you're in the circuit experience. Focusing on the goal is always being the number one best priority for today's video segment. So now, stopping in on the sector 4 to be at 29.3 seconds to have a goal objective will be mastered in the chicane at turn 19 and 20. It all comes down to this because turn 17 and 18 will be served as a main advantage without pulling any brakes. So let's find out and go down to do some basic as we're about to have the fourth sector in attempt number one. So here I go. Gonna have to keep a good foot on the throttle. Keep dropping in. 
just like that and go deacceleration just like last time when you're at the C course layout in Sandy Clorix. Here comes the chicane coming in on turn 19. Take turn 20. Very good. Always might need to have enough speed. And there it goes. 29.077 seconds in a goal. Good job. Very good job indeed. Gonna have to skip the replay because I know this video clip is gonna have to take some recording session to keep an eye out on any surveillance like skipping for only 2 or 3 seconds as a glitch. Time to get ready to go and proceed for having a 1 lap attack in 2 minutes 21.4 seconds to get the gold. So I just learned everything so far about Spa Frankenchamps, 20 turns and specific corner name by each part of the layout. Gonna have to give it all I got, just like the super license exam to be well pioreed. Here comes the first turn. Gonna have to keep a good foot on the gas, but the ghost car will have to go first. Now I have to catch up and do the chase. Here comes Ira Rouge. Gonna take it. Going to increase the pace. Here comes turn 6, followed by the camel straight. Let's compy, stop at turn 7. Gonna have to be ready. Sector 1 clear, go for sector 2. Okay, pretty clever. Still might need to do some more increased acceleration handling and speed. Here comes turn 10, coming down and gonna have to slow and steady to keep a good maintain formation. Okay, turn 11. This corner is going to be a very tough one for me. Now for Pohan in turn 12. Come on, just going to stay steady. Have the apex whenever you might need to. Campus is on the way. Turn 13, here I come and go proceed on turn 14. Okay, that was a close call. One simple attempt. I might have to go again for attempt number two. And here comes the final sector. Take turn 16 and go speed up on turn 17 before coming in on to turn 18. Save it for the best. Turn 19 and 20 is going to be the chicane. We'll do the final part. Okay, there we go. Almost there. Sprint to the finish. Time's ticking. Oh yes! I cannot believe it. I just pulled that up by avoiding getting into the silver. Gold medal has now done and cleared to be master in the full course in Spa Freca Champs, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes, 21.379 seconds. Very good job. I just truly own the course and good to go to have a Spa Frankenstein's Master Driver. So that makes another track down, only two more to go remaining because another replay and having a good time so valuable earnings will be having a 1.2 million credits to be received as a double prize amount. So halfway there we're having a good driving marathon for today. Bronze and gold to be quite good in double check. Looks like almost there to be at the North Chanel Bay is going to be a very good one to be rising up and going to have to do some high valuable earning. After having all European racetrack is now being done and cleared, only two layouts in one location is about to be ready to go and stop by at the Nürburgring. I almost there you guys. The big one is coming for me because North Chanel Bay is going to be the biggest challenge ever yet will be set and planned for having the next part of the video segment. So before that, 
Just gonna have to go and proceed to be at the Grand Prix track by using the Mercedes AMG GT3 2016 by having four sectors and one lap attack. But I can't wait for having a very good best moment because save it for the Grand Prix track for this part of the video segment and go and take on the Green Hill in the next video. So, I hope 15 turns turns out to be quite very good and well recognizable because two layouts will be coming up soon for having a next update folks. 15 turns for having a Grand Prix track layout to be labeled as a full course, mostly because the sprint layout is absolutely to have a very good track layout to be seen as well. So here we have the first sector in 33.8 seconds, sector 2, 31 seconds, Sector 3, 25.4 seconds, and Sector 4. 30 seconds is now all together in gold, and that means a minute, 59.8 seconds, we'll be doing a one lap attack. So let's go out there and take on in the Yokohama S, followed by the Mercedes Arena by starting out by the number of turns by 4. Good thing I just remembered because just gonna have to be well practiced ever since the online time trial event in the previous lap time challenge. So let's go and proceed on to the first turn. Brake zone coming in. Stay steady and looks like that's how the main position that you might gonna have to follow the yellow highlight. It seems to be a little bit heavy slow down to be at turn number two before coming in to be stopped at turn three by pulling the brake. Take the left turn, aim towards turn number four. Watch yourself. Don't get yourself off the track. And there you go. One sector in a bag. 33.111 seconds. All right, just give me a moment. Have my tears to have everything to be wiped off from my eyes. Be a little bit patient. Replay saved, and there you go. Number three in the France ranking in the first sector. So let's go and proceed on sector two to be highlighted to be going proceed on turn number five, six, and seven before going proceed at the Michael Schuhammer S. This is gonna be another tough one ever yet to be driving on the Grand Prix track. So let's go and have the ghost car will be follow the trail. Gonna have to take turn five, pull the brake, coming on turn six at the inside of the apex, pull the throttle. Now here comes the seventh turn you guys. Very good. Just gonna keep a good push of the acceleration. And there you go, 30.189 seconds is now clear in the goal by Master onto the second sector. Very good job, very good job to be double up and go approve. Only in this part of the video we'll go down to do some basic demonstration. Replay saved, number two in the France ranking is now being placed and check. As for sector three, the Michael Schuhammer S will be served as a starting position when you're at turn number 8 and 9 before you're gonna have to go forward by the short straightaway to be stopped at turn number 10. Monster Curve is absolutely to have a turn 11 spot to be quite giving a good service to be as a landmark and then you have to go down to be at the Appen Bogan whenever you might gonna have to go and proceed to be at the NGK Chicane to be stopped at turn 13 and 14. So I won't stick around because I'm not going to have to master the Michael Schuhammer S to choose any kinds of specific vehicles like road cars and racing car. Okay, just like that. Watch yourself. Don't get too loosened up. Okay, there goes turn 10. Warnster curb. Turn 11. Keep a good foot on the throttle. Simple is that. Gold achievement in 24.975 seconds. 
calculation is absolutely correct and that makes sector 3 is pretty served and challenging to be doing some proper position on Michael Scoop Hammer S and Warstar Curve. Okay, looks like the replay safe because that should be quite very good and safe to be proceed on to sector 4. So after the war Steiner curve to be well pronounced, you'll be moving on and take turn number 12 to be at the Aben Bogen and then turn 13 and 14 at the NGK Chicane. After that, turn 15 will be served as the final corner is going to have to do a main position to be serving as a landmark right next to be at the North Schnell Bay. So here I go, going to have to serve the war Steiner curve at turn number 11. Starting position and let's get it on. Mastering the chicane when you're at turn 13 and 14 is very important. So better be sure to have the breaking position to go answered just like this and watch yourself. Don't get too overwhelmed. Do a main proper balance whenever you might need to do some main strategy when you're facing a tougher opponent. So there you go. That's how you should master to have a 30 second time limit when you're at the 4th sector in the Nürburgring Grand Prix track. Here's my record, 29.164 seconds. It all comes down to this folks. This is going to get closer and nearly there will be planned by part 63 in the next video after this. Just going to be sure to have another replay to be added onto my main diary log. Okay, so here I go, under 2 minute lap time is about to go challenging in about a minute, 59.8 seconds. Better be sure to work hard and give everything what you got. Master the turns and be sure to be on the lookout on Yokohama S when you're entered at the first lap. So let's get it on and take turn 15 to be served as a rolling start position will be at the ready. Timer start. Let's do this. Come on, just gonna make a good breaking position right over here. Hold it in. Don't get too loosened up. Okay, looks like the ghost car just barely putting up with some good grip. Doing some fine efforts. That's turn two. Now going clear on the Mercedes Arena to be followed by in turn three. Here's turn 4 cleared, take that left side of the track before going in on sector 2. Okay that's turn 5, there goes turn 6. Gonna have to keep pushing up the limits, turn 7 will be doing the best part before going challenging on turn number 8. Very good job. Now I'm entering the third sector at the Michael Scoo Hammer S. Just like that. Don't get off the track. And then here comes turn 10 before the War Steiner curve at turn 11. Slow in, fast out. Have that apex to be on the left side position before the final sector will be stopped at the NGK chicane after the Aben Bogen. Gonna have to keep pushing. Have that traction to stay well stable. Turn 15 at the final stretch. Sprint to the finish. And here it go. Gold cleared. 1 minute. 57.589 seconds is now check and done for having a gold lap attack. Alright, looks like Nurburgring Grand, Grand Prix track is now being cleared and truly on the course. But I can't wait to be ready up and take on the green hell after this. But it will have to take time because only two more part of the full video segment in the first season 
as I'm about to be planned and gonna have to be ready as a double feature. So here's a replay saved. Exit out. Now gonna have to get in to have a 1.2 million credits after being earned in all bronze and gold altogether. Okay, that's better. And looks like this is it folks. The road to the big one is about to get closer and nearly there. I cannot believe it, I'm just gonna have to feel the moment. This will be a very good, proud, challenging moment to be taken on in the North Nightbo. So pretty clever and very excellent to have two German race cars after the Mercedes AMG GT3 2016 will be served to be on the Grand Prix track. And of course, the BMW M6 GT3 Endurance model is gonna have to do the same thing all over again from GT Sport. 5 million credits and 1 million credits and that makes over 6 million is going to be a very good grand total to be having a very good exact amount to be stopped at over 30 million credits. But good thing I'm just going to have to be ready up and wrap this up before at the end of the video so I hope I could probably have to be planned for having part 64 we'll be doing a live stream video so you guys might gonna have to keep an eye out because I'm just going to have to keep working on and do some more upcoming content videos on other racing games and other kinds of video games whenever I might going to have to be planned to do some full walkthrough and other kinds of activities whenever I like to pick. Just wait folks because it'll have to be wait until going to have to be moving on in part 63. So I hope you enjoy watching the video in Gran Turismo 7. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like comment and click the bell for notification on upcoming content videos in the later future. I'll be see you guys next time on GT7 and I look forward to see you again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.